How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? This is my ninth sick day this semester. It's getting pretty tough coming up with new illnesses. If I go for 10, I'm probably gonna have to barf up a lung. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Katie Bueller. This is Edward R. Rooney, Dean of Students. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I just completely forgot to call. Usually is. So far this semester, he has been absent nine days. I don't remember him being sick nine times. Grace! Look, I can give you every assurance, Mr. Rooney, that Ferris is home. Grace! God damn it! This, this is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. I'm going to park a beautiful little this short and sweet. I want my daughter out in front of the school in ten minutes by herself. I had a grandmother once. Uh, two, actually. Between grief and nothing. I'll take grief. to a car like this, would you take it back right away? Neither would I. How you doing? You speak English? Uh, what country do you think this is? Uh, I want you to take extra special care of this vehicle. Okay? Okay, no problem. Great. Trust me. Uh, you have something else to worry about. I'm a professional. Professional what? Ferris, I don't feel too good. Can we leave soon? Here, climb up on this. Come on, everybody. It's a test designed Cameron. To an emotional response. Okay, it's now, it's a test lean forward test against the glass like this. Designed to provoke an emotional response. Anything is peaceful from 1,353 feet. I think I see my dad. We got a lot to do. Let's go. I appreciate your understanding. Don't think twice. It's understanding that makes it possible for people like us to tolerate a person like yourself. If you want to sell, you have to spend. It's as simple as that. 4,000 restaurants in the downtown area. 
I picked the one my father goes to. We're pinched for sure. If you know what it takes to push this over the top. We're gonna go out heavy on TV, we're lighting up on the radio on the print, okay? He's got Listen, the money. Look, come on back to my office. We'll lay out the entire... Money. Sorry, I can't come to the door right now. I'm afraid that in my weakened condition, I could take a nasty spill down the stairs and subject myself to further school absences. Ferris! <laughs> Who is it?
If you say Ferris Bueller, you lose a testicle. <laughs> This may very well be for real. I think Cameron might have blown a microchip or two. He's always been a little keyed up. All I wanted to do was give him a good day. We're gonna graduate in a couple of months and then we'll have the summer. He'll work and I'll work. We'll see each other at night and on the weekends. Sloan's his bigger problem. She still has another year of high school. How do I deal with that? I was serious when I said I would marry her. I would. Cameron has never been in love. If things don't change for him, he's gonna marry the first girl he lays, and she's gonna treat him like shit, because she will have given him what he has built up in his mind as the end-all be-all of human existence. She won't respect him, because you can't respect somebody Paris? who kisses your ass. We better try something else. This isn't working. It's the best day of my life. I'll miss you guys next year. Good times for a change. Seems the luck I've had can make a good man turn back. So please, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me get what I want this time. Still here. Go on now. Get the life out. Come on. You're still here? It's over. Come on, go. Go. Get out. Come on, go now.